Everyone, look at this verse here. Sing, er, Psalm 2, 2. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Anointed, that's Jesus. That repeats in Acts 4, 26, and really Ezekiel 28, 17. And that has to do with the what people call the Illuminati. That's a historical term, which means a certain group, you know, to do with the Jesuits, blah, blah, blah. But I think nowadays people kind of mean it as a general term, this idea that there's some sort of evil government, satanic government, kind of not completely visible, working behind the scenes, controlling the governments of the world, and working directly for the devil. Because, you know, the devil is, of course, the god of this world at the moment. And I think that, uh, what else could this be referring to? The kings are all working together. My point is, it's this is um, a little more widely known about now that there's this Illuminati uh, that exists, and it's right here in Scripture. People often are thinking this is some kind of weird conspiracy theory or something. Like it's not obvious that there's something like this going on in the world, uh, but it's right here in Scripture in the Old Testament, way back. So that's that's extraordinary. So the Bible, of course, is correct on things where the world misses it once again, but uh, this this can give amazing clarity on why our world is the way it is, especially the social world, why governments are so crazy, and not really local governments, I'm talking about the federal, big, broad federal governments over countries, uh, not, you know, mayor and, and stuff like that quite as much. I mean, they could be tied into this, but, but this, you know, some of the weird wars that we have and a lot of the crazy things that politicians do in you know, Revelation 13, I did a video on how it's very clear, in my opinion, that the first piece of Revelation, Revelation 13, first couple of verses, and then also again in 17, is referring to an Illuminati. And the first piece of Revelation is the Illuminati, where Russia and, and uh, America are working together. The, the first beast has the feet of the bear and the mouth of the lion, England. You know, a lion, of course, being associated with the eagle that has its wings clipped in Daniel 7, so the American... English Illuminati, you know, that wing of the Illuminati. So anyway, just really amazing that the Bible nails this. And my real point, though, is that so much can be described so clearly in the world. And if you understand this is what's going on, uh, uh, it just makes so much of our social reality make sense, why everything is so weird how it is.